Welcome back to Rick's Reflections, where we take a look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading and see how it applies to our lives today. Well, this Sunday, we celebrate Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Christ. There is no reading that is more Catholic than this Sunday's Gospel reading, John chapter 6. We call it the Bread of Life Discourse. In it, Jesus is speaking not just to his apostles, but to a bunch of disciples who are there listening, paying attention, following him. But he is about to tell them something that is going to create such a divide that the majority of people listening that day are no longer going to follow him. Well, what could be so controversial? Well, he says this, if you want to have eternal life, you must eat my body and drink my blood. Now, he said this, and there, of course, became great discussion in the crowd. So he says it again. And then he says it a third time. And he uses this Greek word trogos, which means to gnaw on or to chew, so that there was no way it could be misinterpreted. You see, after he said that, people left because they said, who can follow him? This teaching is too hard. But maybe that's us today. Maybe sometimes when we go up and receive communion, we're forgetting that this is the actual body and blood of Christ and what a sacrifice that is. Maybe we're forgetting that Jesus not only is going to feed us literally, but also spiritually. Now that we're back, now that we can actually be in person and receive communion, now is the time to reclaim Corpus Christi. Now is the time to look at them. When we come forward and we receive and we say amen, when the priest says the body of Christ and the blood of Christ, and we say amen, so be it. That's what it means. We believe it wholeheartedly that whatever the priest says, the body of Christ, we respond with amen, so be it. I believe with everything that I am that what you're saying is true, just like Christ said to his apostles. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Rick's Reflections. <laughs>